Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Your Photo, Our Look. My name is Matt Kluskowski, and uh, you can find out more about this series over at ononephotos.com. Uh, just go to videos, you can watch all the previous videos here. I've been getting great feedback. Thanks so much for the photos, and I'm, I'm gonna try to get as many of I, as I can uh, into the upcoming videos here, So, but thank you so much. I've uh, been some great feedback on this. The idea here is it, I take your photos and I edit them. So you submit photos, I edit the photos. Uh, if you wanna know how to submit them, just go to any of the posts on this page right here and uh, you can see how to submit a photo. But I'm gonna get right to it. Let's jump over into Lightroom. I use Lightroom, uh, perfect effects, perfect layers, perfect portrait, and if I need to, Photoshop. So let's start off here. Uh, cool, cool photo here. I enjoyed editing this one. This was kind of a lot of fun. I'll reset it. Uh, not too much to do to it inside of Lightroom. I'm going to go to Lens Corrections. Just try to straighten things up a little bit. I'll go to Basic. I'm going to hit the uh, Profile Corrections. We'll get rid of that vignetting. Auto Upright, which will close to straighten things out. We've got to constrain the crop. And then what I'm going to do here is, uh, is experiment just with level, vertical, or full. Apparently full doesn't do anything different. So let's go back to auto. And uh, now I'm gonna go to manual. I'm gonna go to rotate and just try to rotate this around. Just try, I'm looking at that line right in the middle there. Um, if you notice down here, there's a little bit, little bit of a difference down here. And I'm just being really picky with it, but we have so much symmetry going on here. I think it's worth it. So I'm just gonna tweak the horizontal setting and that'll help us. All right, so that takes care of that. You can see that's before, that's after. Not too much more to do here. Uh, I might accentuate the highlights. I like the bright nature of the photo. Open up the shadows a little bit, a little bit of clarity, maybe just a touch of saturation. But that's not, not, not much more that I would do to it here inside of Lightroom. We're gonna go File Plugin Extras. I'm gonna go to Perfect Layers because I have just a little bit of retouching I wanna do on this one. I'm not going to do a lot, but if I go into perfect layers first, I can do the retouching and then I can go into perfect effects and finish it off. So I can go, uh, I can use all the plugins right from there. First, we're going to zoom in right over here. And I'm going to grab the clone stamp tool left bracket key to make my brush a little bit smaller, option or alt click to sample, and then just paint. So I just wanna get rid of that. I'll kind of attack it from both sides. Like so. And option or alt click again, try to get it a little bit closer. One last time, I'll hit it from down at the bottom here. It's a lot more fun to do this stuff than it probably is to watch somebody, isn't it? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now let's go into effects and uh, we'll just finish it off. I'm gonna take this two ways. I'm gonna give you a crazy way that I thought was kind of cool because it's just a totally different look for the photo. If you double click on the hand tool, it'll take you back to uh, one or fit in view. Um, under bleach bypass, high key cool. If you're really looking to style this, I thought it was an interesting style. It looked kind of neat to me. So you can reduce the opacity of the layer a little bit. I thought that was cool. If not, if you, want, you just wanna go pure with it, there's not much more I would do than just go to dynamic contrast and I hit this with some contrast because it can hold it. There's a lot of details there. You'll see if I zoom into it, it'll really hold a lot of contrast and you can probably push a little bit more into it. Uh, come down here to your small, medium, large details and I maybe go into the medium details a little bit more, but that's before, that's after. So it'll hold a lot of contrast, give a lot of nice, almost more of a glossy nature to, uh, to some of this texture here. All right, uh, when we're done, we're just going to hit apply. That'll bring us right back over into Lightroom. Um, again, you know, the, I'm not gonna, I didn't do a lot to this photo, so I don't think our before and after is gonna be 
crazy different in the photo if you did style it a little bit more i think our before and after would be but um if you went kind of the purest approach to this, which I think is totally fine because it's a great shot. Uh, I don't think our before and after is gonna be significantly different. All right, so here is our before image and here is our after image. So before, after. Pretty simple stuff on that one. Again, unless you, uh, unless you styled it uh, very, very different from um, using some of those presets that we had in there. All right, let's take a look at another one here. This one, uh, this one came from someone who is uh, who who photographs these types of portraits a lot. Does a lot of sports portraits. He specifically said he was interested to see what I would do with it because he doesn't have a lot of time to edit. So we're not going to do a lot of editing on this. I'm going to crop it first. Um, I, you know, I mean, he's he's lighting it. He's doing everything right. I maybe open up the shadows just a hair, but I mean, he's he's kind of doing everything good maybe a little bit of whites and blacks here um, and again remember he doesn't have a lot of time to edit so what I would say is we're not gonna do too much more to this one I would do two things I if I'm just gonna stay inside a Lightroom I would go and grab my clarity brush increase some clarity go to the adjustment brush add some clarity to it and uh, and I would probably paint some clarity onto his uniform because I think it'll look cool so if I zoom in on it, you can see here, I'll turn before, after. So if I'm just gonna stay in Lightroom, that's what I would do. If I'm gonna take an extra minute and jump into perfect effects, then what I would do is, cause I think it'll look better, I would use dynamic contrast on it, All right? Same thing, generally I'm just gonna stay in that area. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. I'm gonna stay uh, just on the uniform, just go to dynamic contrast, natural, if I zoom in, we can even go down here and punch it up just a little bit. All right, it just kind of looks a little bit more, a little bit more of a 3D quality to me. That's before, that's after. Maybe even increase the small details there. All right, and then what we would have to do is we'd have to paint it out of everywhere else because we don't want it to be in the rest of the photo. So I don't want to make sure I got it out of the sky. We don't want to, it looks bad on skies and it looks bad, um, not all skies, but this type of a sky. It also looks bad on uh, blurry things or anything that, that you'd want to kind of go out of focus here. But I would even leave it on the cannon because I think it looks okay there. So that's before and after. But that's all I would do this. Again, this is assuming um, he's, he's got to stay inside of Lightroom. Okay, or he's got to stay inside a Lightroom. If he's going to go out of Lightroom, it's assuming he doesn't want to do a lot of work and he wants it to be done really, really quick because that's the nature of photographing these types of sports portraits is they got to be quick. That's how you make money. So, um, and maybe, maybe we could do a little, little vignette. All right. And maybe, maybe, I'm just going to go a little bit further here. Um, he's got white pants on. Really, we want people focusing on him, not the, not the white pants. We could always come over here, bring our exposure down, and we could always come over here and try to bring a graduated filter up from the bottom. So it just tones it down a little bit. So that would really help people focus. And then honestly, if you wanted to, you could just crop in if you wanted to take more of the environment out of there, which I don't mind either. I kind of like the crop version too. But um, as far as you know, trying to keep this simpler for this person, um, that's generally where I would go with this one. Just a little bit of contrast onto him. Maybe try to darken those pants just because they are white and they're going to draw so much attention that we really want people to focus on him. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Let's go to our original image. And I'm just gonna reset our basic settings because the crop will look look a little bit odd if I reset that. So that's before, after. Again, not not crazy crazy differences, but I think it's important to uh, important to kind of tone some of those things down. All right, next photo. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do on this one is crop it in. I don't think we need all that extra space over there. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna open up the shadows in the back just a little bit. We don't have to worry about highlights. 
Option or Alt click. See how we do on a white point. Option or Alt click for a black point. Overall, maybe warm it up. And uh, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to grab my brush and uh, I'm going to bring the exposure up and I'm going to bring the temperature up here. What I'm going to do is just paint, hit the right bracket key, get a nice big brush. I'm just going to paint almost a little bit of sunlight over here, just in the back. All right, I think that looks pretty neat, just to kind of brighten things up over there, make it look like a little bit more, more of a sunny. You can see some of the light on her face, so I think that works. Uh, from here, pretty much done inside of Lightroom. Let's go jump into perfect layers. We're going to use a couple of apps here. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job of, uh, of finding all the features. So not too much, maybe tweak the eye, just a hair, but we're good there. What I'm going to go do is to the, uh, to the retouch brush, bring the opacity down to about 50%. All I'm going to do is just paint right underneath there. Happens a lot. And uh, it's just a real easy, real easy fix to kind of lessen some of those darker areas under our eyes and uh, but not make it look fake by getting rid of it totally. That's why I use a low opacity brush. Then we're going to go over to effects and uh, we're just going to finish it off. Again, I'll hit the uh, double click on the hand tool just to get us back to our view. And uh, I'm going to finish this with uh, a little bit of sunshine. Uh, the sunshine filter is probably going to be a good one here. Notice it adds a little bit of warmth little bit of glow. That's really all I want to add to this one. I don't want to do too much more to it. Uh, we can click the uh, plus icon here, maybe go down to vignette. Throw a little big softy on there. I deliberately, I, I brighten the background, so I am going to reduce the opacity of this because I don't want it to get too dark, but I am okay if it gets a little bit darker back there. Hit the backslash key, that shows us before, after. Um, I'll hit the plus icon. I'm going to go to going to try let's go uh, let's go to our photo filter I'm going to try a warming filter I just want to see what it looks like it, it could be it could be too warm I mean it's not bad it's you know before and after uh, let's get rid of it let's just leave it where we were I, I was just thinking I might want to warm it a little bit more but I could always just hit apply here I'm just going to save the photo bring us back to layers and then we can just click save that, of course, brings us back to Photoshop, where I could, if I wanted to warm it up, just add a little bit more warmth inside of that, that little section there. Uh, what I am going to do is reset the original, and let's take a look. So that's our original. That's our after. So before and after. All righty. Let's see what we got here. Next one up. A little bit of a landscape. Let's check it out. Lots we can do inside of Lightroom to this one because Lightroom is really a great place for all of your toning, your shadows, and your highlights. Uh, first off, let's go to the Crop tool, rotate this around, crop in just a hair to get rid of some of that clutter on the top too. That looks good. A uh, little bit more warmth. Bring down the highlights. See, it does great on the sky. I'm not going to go too far because I, I don't want to make the, the sun should be white. I'm not going to try to make the sun not white. So I'm not going to go too far on the highlights. Uh, open up the shadows a decent bit here. I will grab the graduated filter, bring the exposure down, and that'll darken the sky. And then what I'll do is open up the shadows. You see how that opens up all those shadowy areas, because if I don't, then it looks like I have a line going across my image and everything up top gets darker. But if I open up the shadows now, that kind of lets me get the best of both worlds. I can experiment with the color temperature, make it more blue, make it warmer. It's probably going to go warmer because I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's kind of got some grayness up there. So we're just going to keep the warmth, maybe a little bit more saturation there. And even some clarity will help it. So that takes care of the sky. Uh, option or alt click to get a white point. Option or alt click to get a black point. Little bit of saturation, we can get it in there. Not too high, maybe 10%, but not too much more than that. Go down here to my detail panel. Uh, zoom in on some of the upfront details here. You can crank this up 90 to 100. You can get your radius to around 1.4. Just be careful of detail. 
because that's where you can start to uh, to get that over crunchy type of a look. But I can even push it pretty high here and uh, we'll get some sharpening in here as well. All right, so that's looking good. We're gonna go photo, edit in perfect effects and finish it off. Uh, you can probably pretty much tell where I'm gonna go with it, but it's got it's got a very sunshine type feel to it. He's shooting into the sun or she, um, they are shooting into the sun. So I want to keep that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cool it down or apply some crazy effect to it. Uh, probably going to go to the preset section, go under landscape and either try golden hour or the summer version here. But I think golden hour actually looks really good. Maybe we take uh, overall the, uh, the photo filter layer, which is really what's making it gold. Maybe we take that down just a hair, but I think that looks really good for it. Um, again, I wanna keep it, it's, it's got sunshine, so to me, sunshine says warm. And uh, we'll finish it up with Mr. Big Softy. Of course, that is too big, very, very soft, but let's pull the layer opacity down. Hit apply, it takes us back to Lightroom. I'll reset the original image and that's our before photo and that's our after so before after that was a fun one okay so I, i've kind of hit my 15 ish minutes time cap for this so i'm going to go ahead and finish it off here uh, but i will get to uh, i will get to this photo next time because this was uh this was a cool one to edit i think you'd be interested to see some of the things that uh that we're able to do with it so i'll get to that one next time but in the meantime guys thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you again next time